Hi, I'm Hillary Johnson, and welcome to Flashback, where we take a look at local stories from years gone by. Today, we travel back to May 6, 1994, where Aboriginal culture was celebrated and explored. It was a day of celebration, a day of learning. And for some, a very special day at Kitty Kashan Primary School. Today is the conclusion of the First Nations program, a day the students could show off what they've learned, a day others could show off what they know. This was taught to me as my great-grandfather and, and the elders before me. I grew up with the elders. I used to sleep among them and tell me all the stories of everything. And it's a very important to learn the cultures of Native people because with great respect, and that's what it's all about, to trust one another and to have hope on the future ahead of you. What these people are doing now, they're learning, and 10 years down the road, maybe one of them will phone us up and say, hey, this is what you taught me, and I'll be proud. And pride is what the feast is all about. There was traditional Native food, Native song, and Native dance. Something instructors say is important for all children to learn. For the Native kids, it strengthens their pride in their culture by studying their ancestry. And as you can see here, that the kids, school is a very important part of their lives. And if we provide Native education to them, we're showing them that we value and respect it. And this will help them understand that their culture is an important part of their lives. For the non-Native kids, it gives them a glimpse into the rich culture of the North Coast Native bands that we have here. Also, I guess we are a multicultural society and it's important that the kids have experience and gain an appreciation of other cultures. The children have been learning from the Boltons since January and each seems to have come away with something personal. It's about learning about how people used to live and I think it's neat to learn about how people used to do things. I like it because the way my culture is and the way my grandma and grandpa used to live. The feast is meant as a celebration for the kids and their invited guests, but the Boltons hope they come away with a lot more. Now, there's 200 children here who maybe five years down the road will see something or hear something bad about natives. And if just one child says that's not all natives because I remember Mr. and Mrs. Bolton, it's worth it. It's about giving and receiving gifts, learning from one another, and celebrating tradition. Michelle Bowden, First News, Terrace.